Collard greens are a southern staple. They're the true green of the south. I'm gonna show you how to make them the green that you want in your kitchen all the time. I'm Chef JJ Johnson, and I'm gonna show you what collard greens are all about. So look, the collard greens are part of the cabbage family. Look, I'm gonna come in, come in, come in close. I'm gonna show you all about the greens. I love using the whole green, the stem. You hear that crunch? It's, it's super delicious. You can even eat it raw. They come just like this in a bunch, rubber band at the bottom. This is what you want to look for. I picked up these greens because these are greens I normally would not buy. You know, they're getting really wilty, some dark and brown edges. This is what you want to look for when you're buying the green. You know, sometimes in the grocery store, they'll just shove in these ripped up pieces to make it a pound or two pounds. But look, you don't want this. You see this here? Look, you don't want this. It's all chewed up, it's gooey. Um, it looks like it's been sitting in that spray of water that's coming out of the grocery store. You don't want those greens. All right, let me show you how to wash the greens. I have a bowl here with water. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take the greens apart, make sure they're not sticking together. And anything that's stuck to your greens, you're gonna get them off while you're washing them in this bowl. Take some paper towels and you put it on your cutting board like this and then you kind of take some of your greens here, shake it off, lay them down on the paper towel. Don't put too, don't put too many because you want to really get them nice and dry. Flip it over and then I have my bowl over here with my clean greens. If you want to store them back in the fridge, you can go back with your paper towels, take some of my greens, like a handful, nice handful, stick them here on the paper towel and then I'm gonna roll them up. And that rubber band from the grocery store could be really handy. Stick it back on here. Now I have a daughter, so I know how to do a little, you know, rubber band turn. When it goes right into your refrigerator, just like that. If you wanna store them in the freezer, find yourself a freezer bag, put a paper towel on the bottom. And the reason for the paper towel at the bottom is that if there's any additional water it's gonna to go to the bottom of the bag, and you want the paper towel to soak up that water so you're not getting freezer burn or ice crystals. And then I take this bag, get as much air out as I can. So, to take the stem off, you just pull the green down just like that. And it's simple. And as you do it more, you'll become quicker. Now, what, what can you do with the stem? You can throw them away, of course but you can pickle your stems because they're so firm. There's tons of flavor in there. So with your stemless greens, you can just roll them up and you can chiffonade these for a salad, which is my favorite way to use a collard green is collard green salad. If you really wanted to get funky with it, you could take your stems, you could cut like really small, you know, they crunch, it crunches just like celery. You hear that crunch as I'm, that, that crispness of the greens? And then just add it right into your salad. But I'm telling you, you can take these stems, you can put it on the side, you can dip these into some peanut butter, and it will be delicious. Okay, collard green salad. So, first thing you do is throw in your favorite dressing of choice. Make sure it has a little spice in there, but any dressing of choice. Then you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna massage the greens a little bit. You wanna make sure you're overdressing the salad because the green is a little bit tougher than any other salad greens you would use. And the great thing about the collard green in the salad, it does the same thing that it would do when you would stew the greens. It will absorb all the flavor, literally all the flavor. This is your ultimate chop salad. Some one-on-one -on -one stuff about stewing, braising greens. The reason why collard greens are amazing to stew is because they can hold up to a long cook time so you can inject tons of flavor into the green. This is how I would cut these for braising collard greens. Two inch cuts coming down. If you don't eat pork, you can add something else with smoke, but I love some maple smoked bacon right into my greens. The next thing you need to do is add in some liquid. Uh, you can add in chicken stock. 
or, or vegetable stock or vegetable broth or chicken broth or even just water. I like to do a mix of water and vegetable broth. So I'm gonna add in 24 ounces of liquid and then I'm gonna take you back to, to my stock pot and we're gonna stew these greens up. Now let me tell you something. Don't go and cook your greens for four hours. That's the one thing I'm gonna change today. You're gonna cook your greens for no more than 45 minutes. I, did you hear me? Don't cook your greens for four hours. I know that's what your grandma told you or you heard somebody's auntie say, but 45 minutes, that's all you need to do. I'm gonna drop my greens right into my stewing pot or stock pot. And all you have to do is let them cook. You'll start seeing the greens drop down in size. Just make sure that all the collard greens are submerged in the liquid. And look at that, look how beautiful that looks. All right, sauteing greens. A little bit of blended oil. And I love some sauteed onions or shallots. And I like to sweat these down. And then just throw in some of the greens. They saute just like spinach. And if you want to get fancy, you can add a little bit of like, I have a little dry rub mix always in my house. So just a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, some dried thyme, cayenne pepper for a little spice. And that's it, quick. Smells delicious already. All right, here you go. I have my, my stewed collard greens, my collard green salad, and my sauteed greens. Let's see what they all taste like. I'm Chef JJ Johnson. I hope I taught you everything you needed to know about the collard greens.